All right, what's up guys? We're back with another one here. It's a very, very interesting video today, I think. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be farming Daigo for some more content, you know. If you're not aware, Daigo's been running house sessions every single day uh, with the Street Fighter 6 demo, inviting top players from all over Japan to come over and play. It's been a great source of like high level Street Fighter 6 gameplay. But today, interestingly enough, there we go. We have John Takeuchi. So if you're a new player, if you're not familiar, uh, John kind of burst onto the scene in Street Fighter V. He's a very, very young player. I think he was under 20 when he started. He did really well with um, Rashid. He won a lot of tournaments in the beginning. He's still strong at the end. But for Street Fighter VI, he's running Modern. This is probably the highest profile player that I know of at the moment who's running Modern seriously. So I want to see how Daigo does against Modern, see if it's real, see if it's just a meme. I got no idea. I haven't watched it yet, so I'm excited. Hey, you like this stuff? You like high-level breakdowns? You like learning Street Fighter 6? Hit that sub button because there's a lot more on the way. All right, let's go. Sorry, I'm covering up Lord Daigo. There he is down there. And Young John, you can see how Young John is too. He's a little baby. Let us see. And give me a sound check, chat. Let me make sure this sounds okay. But yeah, what I've seen from John, before we even get started, what I want to look out for, John's been posting on, been posting tech on Twitter. So he's got a lot of option selects that are only possible in modern. I don't know if I can catch any of them. And of course, he's got the godlike hit confirms and godlike reaction. So let's see, let's see. He's playing Luke, of course. Daigo's running the Ryu. Also, I want to mention in the last the last video, thank you guys for watching. We got a lot of comments that were like, oh, Daigo, why would you do that? Why would you play like that? Just be aware, these guys are just training, right? This is just a training casual house set. They're not playing 100%. They're not playing tournament mode. They're experimenting. So don't be too harsh. Instant reactions, right? That's that's modern right there. Look at, look at the speed on this super here against the fireball. Look at that, instant, instant. There's no motion. When you double quarter circle forward, you'll usually see the character like crouch twice. There is nothing. He was just standing there, saw the fireball, boom, one button, punish. That's strong. But of course there's the damage. The... Is there a damage debuff? He's doing mad damage already. Mm -hmm. Daigo pressuring. Spent a lot of meter, very, very aggressive. Maybe too aggressive, Daigo, watch out. Yeah, John's trying to go in there. He's trying to go in there and put him in, in a burnout. But Daigo's keeping his distance. That should be enough. Yep. Damn, these guys are super burning out. And now John can't block. Because if John blocks, like, one more. Yeah, he put himself in burnout. This three burnouts in one round? I'm telling you, I don't think they really play like this. I, I think, that, I think they're, they're just testing and training. But we'll see. We see how deadly burnout can be. But yeah, so John can't parry. Right? He can't parry. He can't use any drive gauge, but he can still do the one button super. And they are invincible. Even level ones are, are invincible now. Oh, and just messed. Yeah. Daigo yelling out, right? He tried, he wanted to try and go for a tick grab, but John was mashing. He's too good. Nice hit confirmed from Daigo. And again, look at his drive gauge. He's going crazy. I need to ask Daigo, would you really play like this or is it just, are we just testing right now? And again, just puts himself in there, doesn't get it. Turn blast. Nice, yeah, spend it right away. So this is going to build back, not just huge damage, but he builds back his drive gauge during the level three. Nice check from Daigo. Yeah, that's been too. I, I've learned that too. So this, you, this is what you should be practicing right away. With Luke, it's the same thing. Stand short. So like your stand light kick. Watch, watch that guy just does a kick right here. Boop, and then just boom. Stand light kick and then drive drive cancel. I was doing that all day. I played a guy who was doing it to me. I was like, this is really good. Let me do it too. So if you're going to start out, just do that a lot. Damn, John couldn't touch him right there. Also, by the way, look at look look at Daigo hanging out with these kids. I think that's Shuto. Is that Shuto too? Daigo's like 41 year old. These these two little kids out here. He's training the next generation. Little babies. The Zoomer, the Zoomer party. So this is plus, right? The full charge, the perfect charge. Does Luke in modern still need to perfectly time his his specials? If you're not if you're not familiar, Luke his three specials uh, they have a timing. You have it's very strict to hit the perfect timing. I don't know if in modern you have to do it as well. Plus, you still need to. Okay, so there's still some skill involved there with the modern. I think Daga wanted to drive in. Or, uh, he's getting tossed right now. 
Ooh! <laughs> you could have super there. It's hard. This game is hard, by the way. So major part of Street Fighter is shimmy. So shimmy is, of course, fake a throw. So they go to tech the grab, but you're out of range. So you do that by, by dashing back or walking back. But in this game, it's either like the walk back speed is slower or the grab range is longer, but it's a lot harder to shimmy in this game. You have to really, really commit. So that he got it. That, that, was, that, was, that was slick. That was slick. He thought it was going to kill. He's like, ah, oh, cut this. So he thought it was going to kill. He could have done a kill combo, but... Sometimes you just think it's gonna kill, so you don't do it. Come on, John. Oh, combo drop. Parry God, parry God. I'm learning too about how important parrying is. Oh, he's trying to burn him out. I'm learning too how important parrying is, not just against projectiles, but you see John just tossing out random parries in neutral. It's, I'm not gonna say risk-free, but it's very low risk commitment. So you saw Daga was going heavy towards the throws in the last game, because if they parry, you gotta throw them. It'll do a ton of damage. Let me dagger not biting. Boom! Oh, let's see. Let's see the modern combo. Oh, he doesn't have combos. All right, now I was gonna say there's there's not a modern combo. Like he's not limited, right? But John was like, oh no, that was it. I shouldn't have done that. So he made a mistake. He's probably thinking about what to do without putting himself in a burnout and kind of just had like a brain fart. Solar plexus the god button. Oh. This is when it's really tense. Oh, he put himself in burnout again. I guess he got a big life lead. He's got the one button super too. He's running, buying time, buying time. You gotta be careful though. Nice, nice whip punish right there. But you see Daigo 2 throwing a fireball. So he knows if he throws a fireball, if he throws a fireball, John can just react with the one button super. So look at the range he throws it from. Like from this range. So it was really, really close. John's gonna have to like frame zero, instantly see it, which is a lot harder to do. If you're full screen, you have more time to react. So Daigo's staying in this range because he knows he's gonna get murdered if he throws a fireball from, from too far away. John's hanging in there, right? And this is, don't forget, Modern has a 20% damage buff, debuff, sorry, not a buff. But I think the, the Modern damage debuff only, work, only happens on specials and super moves. It's not on normals, right? And that only happens if you input the simple commands. I didn't know this. I learned this like, you know, last week or so. Even if you use Modern, you can input that classic input. Like you can do a fireball motion and get the fireball and there's no damage penalty on that. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds in that regard. I wonder what John, I wonder like when John uses the simple, when John uses the classics. Punish God, jump out. Yeah, get, get the corner position right there. Oy, don't test his reactions, Daigo. Another combo drop from John. What's going on? Oh, hey. God damn. That's what I've been worried about. I talked about the last video. I was like, I was worried about Daiga's reactions, if he can keep up in six, but my boy's reacting. Look at him. Yep. He has reaction. There's no way he'd do that without without seeing the, the drive impact there. He's on that Red Bull, man. He's, he's three cans deep right now. John, it's bad for John, right? He's burnt out. He got three bars, though, so Dagger can go to him. Uh -oh. No, John, you stink with these combos. All right, that time he got it. Yeah, he could have killed off the first one. So they're talking about, like, the Dagger's asking about burnout frames. So watch. You know, this is what happened here. So this, this is pretty high level, specific to Street Fighter VI. All right, so Daigo starts his pressure right here. Again, this is a Street Fighter 6 only mechanic. When you're in burnout state, there's extra block stun, which means after you block an attack, you're stuck in that blocking animation for a long time. So ready? He does a block string, block string, block string, throw. The throw whips. Why did that throw whip? Because he was still in block stun. John was still in block stun from that. So Daigo went for a tick grab, which is when you do like a light attack to make them block and then go for a grab. So he went for that. It would have worked normally, but since John was in the extra block stun from, from uh, burnout, the throw whiffs, 
And then John, easy punish. So Doc is like, oh, wait, oh yeah, so you, it's it's plus two, so then that becomes what, four? Yeah, so it becomes, it's plus four or something, so he's like, what, is it plus eight after that? I got no idea. It's good to have your opponent burn out, but you just gotta be careful with tick grabs, otherwise that could happen there. But yeah, it's like, why? The, the thing is though, if you have that much frame advantage, why even go for a tick grab, right? Just keep doing block strings, it's crazy. Punish counter. So earlier I was saying John is parrying a lot more than like we're seeing Daigo do. And, but I think a lot of people are going to be playing like this. So the hard read against the parry, right? Here comes the parry, throw. Whenever you throw a parry, you get punish counter. So you get extra damage and also, boop, you take a whole drive bar off. So they lose meter for doing the parry and then they lose meter for getting punish countered too. That is going to be a big part of the game is reading. You're going to put yourself in a situation where you're plus, your opponent's going to try and parry and you throw instead. These are the six, the six mind games that are coming out. And now you're in burnout. A little bit far from the wall there. Yeah, he doesn't have the super, so he has to jump. Yeah, the only thing he can do yeah, the only thing he can do against driving back is jump. He doesn't have the super. Oh, he's just gonna hurt. So you can you gonna sneak one in? No, he was thinking about sneaking it in, but he got sneaked the drive impact in, but John recovered just at the end. Nice whip punish. Man, I haven't thought about that. Doing doing drive rush into the, the knee. Stay in roundhouse with Luke for the extra frames. Normally that move is unsafe uh, if you're too close. But I guess with the plus frames from the rush, it's always safe. I don't know. I think it's match point. It's one to one, right? One to one match point. Dagger repping the classic. We only, I guess we only really saw the modern, we only so far have seen like the modern in the very first round when he did that instant reaction on the super. Otherwise we've seen like a lot of combo drops from John, like not too many confirms. I go pressure. He's just trying to block. Yeah, like he just, I love that. I love that about this game. Like this situation. So now it's like you're cornered. So being cornered is always bad in Street Fighter, but now you're cornered with one bar. So Dago's not even gonna try and open you up. He's not even gonna mix you up. He's gonna make you block. You have to get out of the corner. Like it forces you to get out of the corner right now. Otherwise you're gonna get, of course, put in a burnout. Bop, bop. Just stand there, just chill, bop. And there we go. Now he can back off. Now he can take his time. But jab, jab, level three, okay. Yeah, he's like, damn, I shouldn't have spent three bars on this. Off a of jab, jab. Yeah, spending all three on that, because in burnout two, he's got no reversal now. Ooh, little shimmy. Yeah, all he could do is jump. Right, so he can't, this is from earlier. See, so he spent the three bars, so now he doesn't have the level one super. Daigo would not have thrown that fire bottle. If he hit the level one, but now he's, there's nothing to fear, right? There's nothing to fear. It's a big, he didn't mean to do that. He was trying to do drive impact. It's a big thing about fighting games though. It's not just looking at your character and like your own meter. You have to know what your opponent's resources are too and plan. The YOLO run up throw. All right, double match point. Daigo gonna lose to Modern? I thought Modern was a joke. I thought the YouTube monsters were hyping it up. Uh-oh. Parry. This is also real big, so right? John is gonna parry right here. Look at the meter, see? If you do a parry, you get like a bar back, right? Uh-oh. I got level three though. Level three in this game. He's trying to burn him out too. John, you got to parry those. Uh-oh. Good check. You got to get that bar back. Dags at level three. No, that's a combo. Counter hit two. That's 100% a combo. But John with another drop. He's dropping a lot of combos. I don't know what it is. Unfamiliarity. Maybe he hasn't had time to play against humans. He's looking like my Luke. He's looking like my Luke. Now you burn out though. 
Got a life lead. It's pretty big. Got a level two as well. Oh no, Daigo, you mad man? What are you doing? He's done. He's finished. They're like, oh, oh. They're like, how was it? <laughs> He's like, I won. Look at that. I've, I've, I've finally beaten Daigo. <laughs> Damn. It's real? The beast? The beast was defeated? But I don't know. So, again, it's still super early to tell. But we saw right there. You know, and I, like I said at the start, it's just a casual set. You know, it doesn't really mean anything. But it just showed right there that Modern can compete at some level. How far can it go? I don't know. Like I said before, you know, 20% damage debuff is huge, but you can avoid it by putting in the classic commands. But what benefit did we, like, I didn't notice any benefit. Some of the things that we were concerned about modern is like super easy hit confirms, but John was dropping everything. Even the combos he did land were not optimal compared to classic. The quick react on the, the super against the five, well, that was nice, but it only happened once. Is he not used to it? And then there's a lot of options like I talked about, but like, I don't know what they are. I don't know how to like, I didn't see that anything like that happened in the match. But for example, like one of the option selects he talks about is using easy input special and parry at the same time. So it's kind of like, like for example, fireball. And if they jump the fireball, the, um, the dash will come out instead and punish you for jumping every time. But we didn't see any of that in the match. But anyway, my, my verdict, it's too early to say. It's too early to say. I'm honestly, I'm not sold on modern yet. Uh, John is playing it. Tachikawa, another young player, is playing it as well. It's going to take some time for them to develop, but I'm still not 100% sold on it. I think if you just put in time with classic, it'll give you more benefits in the end. But we'll see. I could be completely wrong. And to be real, I kind of hope I am wrong. I I would be much more interested if modern was really good and viable and classic was really good and viable. And it was up to the players to choose which one they wanted to play with. I don't know. But if you want to watch more of that, uh, it's on Daigo's channel. They have a whole five-hour set. A five-hour set. I just picked one match. Uh, Daigo's got great footage every single day for Street Fighter 6. Probably the highest level footage you're going to find right now. Unless dudes on the crack are posting stuff. I got no idea. So we'll be checking a lot more out. So if you want to see more, hit that sub button. I'll see you next one. Peace.